so it's time to save some lives. Actually, I lied. We're taking every balloon life I see. Look at this map. Why is it so water filled? Oh God, they're coming from the slide now. And oh no, Brickle can't get up there. This is fine. I'll just get a little tax shooter right there and eventually get one in the future. Also, it always starts with a free dart monkey. So it looks like balloons are gonna alternate between rounds. I'm sorry, I forgot that Brickle just drops landmines. As I was saying, it looks like the balloons are gonna alternate every round so I can, oh, it says he can't hit up there, but his mines can. The question is, will I be able to get around 120 with this? this guy though? I mean, this whole little super fun looking water slide is very short and I'll probably need one of these if I'm gonna. You already know the drill. There you go, buddy. Slip in right there. Yes, kill them. Cause now I can get increased production. More bananas, more money, more smiling on my face. Give me valuable bananas and that farms pretty much the max. I might need to get more tax shooters though. Cause some balloons are actually starting to get through now, which is just a little bit concerning. Cross that bridge later though. We got more banana farms to make and I didn't expect this lane to stop doing so good. That's fine. I got my shield. More tax, even more tax, faster shooting. And now I want to get oversized nails. So hopefully my engineer monkey down there can start popping more things. Let's squeeze a glue gunner up here and start getting submarine monkeys down. That should work like that. Brickle kind of uh, boost every water type monkey, for instance. Give these guys advanced intel a little bit for you. And then when I squeeze one more submarine monkey down here, now these guys have this entire row of aiming. Little twin guns there to help with that. My up top here is still doing somewhat fine. Can give this guy soak and globs to also help. Let me squeeze one more tag shooter in there. Yes. My money situation, not quite as exciting as I would like it to be, but let's face it. When is it ever? But there is hot shots just to pop these lead balloons that I didn't know were coming this round, but I'm just good at planning. All right. Twin guns for you, buddy. Now I want to get the price of corn down there. Give this guy grape shot, faster shooting. We still doing good up here, friends? Looks like. All right, valuable bananas. Gonna try and squeeze more farms in there. Upgrade both these guys to tack sprayer too for even more tack damage. And submergent support. What this does is permanently reveal camel balloons, but it's the reactor that I want for reasons that will make sense later. Okay, a lot of balloons are getting through. Time for Operation Sniper Monkey. Fast firing, even faster. Also, thanks to plutonium reactor. Stuff's just automatically getting popped up there now. And now I just need to get one more submarine monkey down. Heat tip darts along with ballistic missile. And we want him to have advanced intel too, specifically for that missile. Notice how he's dropping them where these balloons are now. I am a genius. Airburst. Airburst. And can I? Oh, that's a Moab up there, huh? That's where they're going to come from? That's a bit concerning game. <laughs> Looks like it's still kind of fine though. Was able to pop that guy at least. <laughs> for now. My lifeguard Brickle still also doing good. What I'm gonna do now is set up a nice little pool up here as if there wasn't enough water already because I can fit a couple monkey subs up here along with a buccaneer. Twin guns, air burst. Also, all these guys need advanced intel. Oh, are those camo balloons? Oh no. I need another plutonium reactor game. Let me get one. Okay, I got one. I forgot how fast I make money now. Also, these guys can just shoot from up top so this is even more long range submarine stuff. This is good. This is good, nice, fair, and fun. Get you to triple guns and your buddy. Get some AP rounds going. More damage to Moab class balloons. What's not to love about that? Grape shot, hot shot, faster shooting, double shot. Sounded like I was about to sing a little song for a minute. And now I think I'm gonna just sit back and get a few banana plantations up and running. Cause yeah, those balloons are kind of being decimated before they can actually enter my screen. That's a great idea. Oh, hi Moab. Bye Moab. Hi lead balloons. Goodbye lead balloons. Such is the life of a loser who doesn't have his lifeguard certification like I do. Time for more submarines and get a monkey village down. Get these guys the jungle drums, little radar scanner, and this is going to be my ballistic strike force. Pretty simple. Missiles seek targets and then just give them advanced intel. And I've got three more missiles preemptively hitting everything. I can also put a monkey village on this little raft. Now that I think about it, sorry free dart monkey. I could put one right here too. Jungle drums, grow blocker. We've got a lot of camo detection coming. I'm going ahead here and also making, well, even more submarines around this monkey village. When you're in a water-based map, it just feels right to have a ton of submarines. What can I say? Hello, red Moab thing. 
Can I interest you in four missiles dropping on your face? Seems like, oh, uh, you've popped already? Wow. Kind of pathetic, huh? Time to add more. Immediately adding five more ballistic missile droppers. And you know what? I still want another. Now I've got ten ballistic missiles dropping on everything. Maybe I should change some of these guys to be strong and the others to be first. That way their damage can be split equally. Also, I can sell this guy, because he sucks and I hate him, for another monkey village. And now the balloons don't really get to play anymore. I'm feeling pretty strong right now. However, I could always be stronger. It just takes 11 grand to get that first strike thing. Of course, just means I need more banana farms though. Wait, can I put a monkey in the lifeguard chair? Yes, I can. <laughs> Look at him up there. Make sure you kill someone, buddy. Have fun. All right, start buying banana research facilities here at round 69. If we truly want to be nice with it, I need more money. I want to get another banana research facility down, and at round 80, a ZOMG comes out. Who has a bunch of HP? And so I'm thinking I'd like to have at least three first strike capabilities down by then. Although I did just kind of recklessly spend $3,000 on another plutonium reactor at the start there. So maybe I'm not the most fiscally responsible human being on the planet. Ah, well, who? Who's judging? Another banana research facility, and I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to actually upgrade my last one and buy a couple of those first strike missiles. Although that would be nice. <laughs> absolutely raining down missiles. Maybe I won't need the better ones. Ah, who am I kidding? I want them anyways. First strike, come on out. And let's get another one down there, friend. All right, it's ZOMG time. First strike missile, launch. And it, oh, it, it instantly popped. Now I'm able to buy my final banana research facility, meaning I'm good to just buy more first strikes. These guys are fun because they have splash damage too, so it erases most things that are over there. Which at round 100, whenever the big purple mean BF whatever comes out, I also think it'd be fun to just have, you know, 700 of these things to drop. All right, that's enough of that. Stuff's getting too far. Looks like at the rate I'm going though, I'm pretty much getting one per round here. It's fine though, snag me another first strike and everything is still getting popped quite nicely. Now I'm gonna put auto start on and just try and buy as many submarines as I can. Getting plutonium reactor here. Can get another one over here. Also upgrade my sniper rifle a little bit. I've kind of loaded up this bottom path with a bunch of advanced intel AP round piercing darts, which is pretty helpful whenever balloons actually make it as far as those ones. Now I can do things like buy the tier five preemptive strike, which drops even crazier missiles down. And when I save up enough money, I'll be able to get Sub Commander, which makes these submarines a little better up here. And, you know, I guess Energizer. It's a shame there's no Sub Paragon yet. That would be quite nice, huh? Also, Brickle, max out. And now Naval Tactics affects all my water-based towers, which greatly increases the attack speed of them all. And so here we are at round 99. Things seem to be going somewhat well, and it's round 100. Call to arms, please. That balloon is looking hurt. Let's drop nine missiles on it. Oh, it's dead. Auto start, please. I think just getting naval tactics and increasing their attack speed is also enough to break most things now. But, you know, it's still fun to have stuff like increase attack speed of all my balloons, just drop missiles solely because I can. This is good. Life is, life is nice like this. Except whenever it spams a bunch of fortified balloons while I'm doing something, then I guess I can lose, huh? Stupid balloons.